Hello. Ice here. Hollow Knight. Um, yeah, we're we're to absolute radiance. There's nothing else to do. <laughs> I mean, radiant absolute radiance specifically, of course. Yeah, last time I streamed, beat um, ascended absolute radiance, radiant nightmare king grim, uh, radiant nail sage sly, and I think that was it. And then it was like two hours of grinding Absolute Radiance on Radiant Difficulty. And now I've got another three hours to grind Absolute Radiance on Radiant Difficulty. Let's get right into it. Wasted a whole almost 50 seconds of talking when we could have been fighting Radiant Absolute Radiance. Which, uh... <laughs> Probably doesn't make much difference in the end. I guess some of the time was spent just moving to the actual fight. Yeah, I did change the build to be more spell based um, and not have glowing womb in it. Nice to at least get to phase four on the first attempt. I did put in just a little practice last night. I beat um, Attuned Absolute Radiance with this charm setup, including the Overcharm, um, twice last night. Whoa. Be careful with those swords, you might hit someone. Uh-oh. I tried to double jump and didn't have one. <laughs> Alright, but yeah, that's what we're up against. That was not the button I meant to hit. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, we're fine. We're here again. Lucky, okay. Take those. <laughs> Could have dashed, I had Shade Cloak again. when they start low. <laughs> Probably nobody likes that. Ah! <laughs> Got thrown off by the spikes. Just needed to walk right slightly more. Oh. <laughs> 
Wasn't ready for that to be the first attack, I guess. I just needed the hover. It's convenient that it hit too. Come on. I was just hoping to get lucky with whatever attack came out. <laughs> that was greedy, but I think I'm likely to win earlier if I play greedy all the time than if I never play greedy. Because, like, rushing the phases and getting, like, one fewer orb attack <laughs> is probably a meaningful change in success rate. I didn't know what they were doing. <laughs> the curtain made it a little difficult to see the knives. It's another reason why I... Oh, I didn't actually show the charm build. Just I mentioned that it doesn't have glowing loom in it. Uh, it's that. Uh, I basically switched glowing loom for uh, soul catcher. Didn't quite dodge it. I guess, yeah, it wasn't going to impact the platform because of how close it spawned. So just moving a little to the left, uh, yeah. <laughs> it was just going to go through the platform and hit me. Still, I, I like how much we're reaching platform phase. I say we, but there's no viewer yet. But maybe somebody is watching the the VOD. A little unusual to get gotten by that attack, but not that unusual. <laughs> I wonder what attack I actually have the best success rate against. I think I get the most damage in against the, the light beams because I get to cast my spell afterward. Uh, that is the the diagonal ones, not the curtain.
Cervical Swords often doesn't get me, but sometimes I get caught off guard by the fact that the back of the sword is wider. <laughs> Just because you dodged the tip doesn't mean you're safe. Ah! <laughs> yeah, that'll, that'll happen. <laughs> I have tactically decided to play aggressively. <laughs> First time, including last week, seeing this phase. Oh. Not first time ever, of course, because I've beaten the lower difficulties. Uh oh, okay, I had my jump. Whew. Um... Well, that was the plan for the stream. I did write up to three hours in the title. Uh, <laughs> that's been 13 minutes. <laughs> uh, huh. Well, if you were hoping to see that live, you missed it. <laughs> um... Was not expecting that. Even though I did have one attempt last night against the tuned, where the first hit I took, I was one nail hit away from winning the fight. So maybe not that surprising. <laughs> but it's been done. So uh, I'm gonna stop the video, close the stream, and I guess maybe come back in a few minutes with another game once I've made a decision. Yeah. <laughs>